Hi viewers, this is Dr. A. Madhu Prasad, Assistant Professor, Department of Business Administration Regular, IA Nada Jane Himal College at Nomas Sivasi. Myself, I have designed and developed an e-content on the topic Deming's philosophy, which was extracted from total quality management subject. The e-content Deming's philosophy focuses on introduction, deliberation on Deming's philosophy, that is 14 rules, bibliography, supportive documents, case study, realistic examples, and finally, concluding remarks. As an introduction, Deming's opinion on quality was represented mathematically as results of work efforts by total costs. So it is clear that total cost has to be observed by benefits so that total quality can be achieved by the organization today and forever. Coming to the second part, Deming's philosophy, that is 14 points on total quality management. Dr. W. Edward Deming offered 14 key principles for management to follow for significantly improving the effectiveness of a business or organization. Many of the principles are philosophical, others are more programmatic, all are transformative in nature. The points were first presented in Deming's very famous book known as Out of the Crisis. Come on, let us throw light on the 14 rules suggested by Deming to achieve quality uh, consistently and continuous for a long run. Hereafter, we will consider the 14 principles suggested by Deming as 14 rules. Rule 1. Create constancy of purpose for improving products and services. Plan for quality in the long term. Don't just do the same things better. Find better things to do for that. Insist communication from top to bottom. Accept communication from bottom to top. Allow communication lateral so that overall coordination can be achieved and thereby long-term achievements can be undergone. Rule 2. Adapt the new philosophy. Embrace quality throughout the organization. That is, quality is everybody's job. Whether it's marketing, production, finance, personal, or levels of management as top, middle, junior level, whatever it might be, everybody, uh, not only quality control department, production department, everybody must another uh, have another uh, much focus on bringing quality to the organization regularly. Create your quality vision and implement it. So all have to join together, mobilize together to achieve quality regularly and periodically. That is consistently. Rule three: cease dependence on inspection to achieve quality. Inspections are costly and unreliable and they don't improve quality. They merely find a lack of quality. So rather than investing in appraisal and failure costs, invest much in prevention orientation. They may be costly at the initial, but they give results to five to 10 years in the long run. Rule four, in the practice of awarding business on price alone instead, Minimize total cost by working with a single supplier. So focus on supplier partnering so that unwanted raw metal inflations can be controlled. Look at suppliers as your partners in quality. Encourage them to spend time improving their own quality. They should not compete for a business based on price alone. That is, not only yourself as a manufacturer, your supplier has also to support you in fetching your customer demand or requirements. Rule 5. Improve constantly and forever every process for planning, production and service. That is, to improve quality and productivity with limited resources optimally and thus constantly decrease costs. So, in the long run, cost of production can be controlled and desired profit can be achieved and quality can be embraced so that customer satisfaction, delight, ecstasy can be achieved. Rule 6. Institute training on the job. Initially, when an, organization, when an employee enters the organization, he may have shyness and fearness towards the environment. 
so build a foundation of common knowledge so he has an orientation towards the environment he has a complete knowledge about his job that is the duties and responsibilities allow workers to understand their roles in the big picture so that the company can achieve what it deserves rule 7 adapt and institute leadership don't simply supervise provide support and resources so that each staff member can do his or her best be a coach instead of a policeman that is don't inspect them don't go for performance appraisal allow them to fail and learn from their own experiences okay so lead by example and be a action oriented leader rather than a result oriented leader and make them to realize that they are also leaders so that they can plan schedule and they can achieve the goals regularly rule 8 drive out fear from employees allow people to perform at their best by ensuring that they are not afraid to express ideas or concerns for a kind information consider your employees as internal customers so that easily by word of mouth you can achieve a uh, customer satisfaction from the external customers too make workers feel valued motivate them create morale and encourage them to look for better ways to do things that is they can just uh, come out with different ideas problem solving skills and that can be implemented in the organization so that uh, the organization can achieve laurels today and the future too rule 9 break down barriers between staff areas that is between uh, workers or between departments or divisions people in research design sales and production must work as a team in a cohesive manner in a binder manner to foresee problems of production and in use that may be encountered with the product or service we have to understand a philosophy that a department's outcome becomes an input to other departments so all departments are interlinked so that the overall objective of the organization can be achieved rule 10 eliminate slogans exhortations and targets for the workforce let people know exactly what you want don't make them guess don't let words and nice surrounding phrases replace effective leadership so avoid merit rating avoid target setting avoid inspecting employees allow them to come up and uh, bring build out the morale so that workmanship can be achieved very easily rule 11 eliminate numerical quotas for the workforce and numerical goals for management as i said already merit rating target setting has to be eliminated look at how the process carried out not just numerical targets so be qualitative rather than quantitative measure the process rather than the people behind the process so you need to evaluate only the performance and not the employee and his personal aspects rule 12 remove barriers that draw people of pride of workmanship and eliminate the annual rating or merit system so this was the allied points of the previous set and so that uh, a teamwork workmanship can be achieved and people will have a loyalty towards the organization too this means inter alia abolishment of the annual or merit rating and of management by objectives management by objectives or mere guesses for that we do not say just completely eliminate mbo you can have managed by objectives though it is quantitative to a limited extent okay at the most implement management by facts you need evidences to implement a certain concept in the organization rule 13 institute a vigorous program of education and self improvement for everyone everybody should given a training whenever that occurs a change in the organization so improve the current skills of workers provide them knowledge theoretically provide them practical on the job training thereby giving skills and develop them constantly so that they can build the organization to the next level encourage people to learn new skills to prepare for future changes and challenges that occur in the micro and macro environment of the organization finally rule 14 put everybody in the company to work accomplish the transformation as i said already the transformation is everybody's job it is not the responsibility of the particular department alone improve your overall organization by having each person 
take a step towards marching towards quality so that it can be easily achieved and coming to the next part bibliography for your kind reference i have given five major supportive bibliographies and references related to deming's philosophy so you can go through that so that you will get an additional knowledge other than the knowledge given by me through this e content and now coming to the very important part a case study a short case study why deming matters by paul deking entry manager manufacturing operations supply chain and general management lean business transformation helping business grow by designing grow by delighting publish on january 23 2020 so you can just go through this case this case you can read by yourself and you can come to a conclusion and for this typical situation uh, what the particular manager has done everything has been given detailed in different slides and thereby they have suggested some rules and uh, apart from the uh, just extracted from the 14 rules they have created some four rules and with the support of deming's philosophy they have implemented and achieved quality in the organization so just a philosophy not even a technique helps organization to improve constantly but not drastically but constantly step by step development growth can be achieved so when you read you can evaluate yourself you can have a complete knowledge and you can also uh, gain good skills by just having a review on this case study coming to the concluding remarks deming's goal was to reapply the scientific method to business processes which he actually did with the so called deming cycle or plan do check add principle deming's approach is not just about improving processes but can also be about improving an entire organization in general so kaizen that is continuous improvement in processes if need to be achieved we need deming's philosophy this transformation should come into the minds of the employees employer and thereby their relationships so that quality can be created quality can be maintained and quality can be built so let us march towards the transformation rules given by edward deming thanks for viewing deming's philosophy e content post your comments to madhuagastian@gmail.com Thank you.